been a bit uh, a bit tedious and a bit mind numbing, but um, the great thing is that I'm actually getting them done in bulk. I've got a number of smaller components to make now. Like with the first few bulkheads, what I did is I actually uh, cut them out with a jigsaw and got the exact shape, laminated up on them, grounded them clean and neat. But uh, I've got a number of small ones to do, and quite frankly, there's too much intricacy in that. So I'm better off just laying up one big flat sheet and, uh, and then trying to derive as many of my bulkhead shapes out of that one sheet, as long as they're all the same laminate, because within my bulkhead schedule, I have around uh, three or four different laminate schedules. These ones are still up on the bow, so they are the 20 mil foam, 300, 300, 600 double bias, 600 double bias on each side. They're the main structural ones up on the front, up in that wing plate section, and crash bulkheads. Um, I'm required to, to work to that standard, whereas some of my uh, below floor bulkheads are only uh, 300 and 600 on each side. So it stands to reason that I should be able to derive as many patterns or as many of my shapes out of one sheet uh, and, and then I'm just rolling out one piece at a time. I'm not trying to cut around, I'm not trying to trim it, I just lay it up, walk away, turn it over, lay it up, walk away, later on lay my template on it, cut it out with a jigsaw or a grinder. I think that makes a lot of sense. I've spent a lot of time grinding over the last couple of days. So uh, yeah, but that, that's what I'm going to do now. Two and a half hours later, just uh, raced home, had some lunch. It's uh, my birthday today, so I went home and had a quick lunch and went for a stand-up paddleboard down to the beach and had a bit of a bit of a long walk on the beach with Janet. So pretty happy to be able to do that. But uh, I've come back, and this is um, it's done. It's it's basically set off. It's a good warm temperature in here, about 25 degrees, and I'm going to flip it over and uh, and lay up the other side, and then I'll be able to just cut my bulkhead straight out of it. So I've got a lot of smaller. Uh, parts that are going to be able to be used in this substrate and uh, yeah that's a such an easy layup when you're doing it on a flat sheet for sure now as it always happens i generally eat my words um, after i've just said that i just lay up flat sheets and cut them out of the flat sheets i realize that i've got some oversized bulkheads and uh, the beauty of this foam is you can butt join other pieces to it and then simply laminate over the top because it doesn't affect the strength due to the fact that your uh, your the strength is actually being formed from the laminate itself and not the foam so these particular partitions required some extra parts to be uh, to be added to them and this is how i went about it I'm, I'm building the structure up and they're all the vertical bulkheads that form the, the internal uh, framework of the boat I guess. Uh, right here I have the two forward foam bulkheads. Now these aren't structural, these are purely partitions um, that uh, are going to sort of segment my chain lock, uh, my sail locker and, uh, and a wardrobe on one side and then to segment the head and the bow on the other. So these flat sections uh, up on the end here, they actually sit on the top of the crash bulkheads which are structural below so um, I'm about to start laminating these
We've got some progress here now. We've got all the major wing plates, or wing frames um, finished, and the front bulkhead. So now what I have to do is get down in here, pull it all apart, and do these guys. These ones down in here, the crush bulkheads. Day, but I've nailed it. Um, just going to fit these bulkheads in. Oh, I just got to wait for it to get down here. It's a bit hairy. <clears throat> That's the top. That's the top. It's taking a bit of shaping to get the the uh, the fit rider I'm hoping they're right. may not be right now. What I've done, uh, as with all the other bulkheads that are fitting, I've actually beveled them forward, so I should get a slightly better fit with uh, with that. That is perfect. Yes, cool. The top. See that it goes in like, like so. Oh, mate. Done. Oh, oh yes. Okay, that's halfway. We had no, uh, no failures this month. I mean, all good. Woo! Brilliant. Um, really dug deep the oh, last couple of weeks and I'm a bit smashed but uh, I've managed to get all of my forward bulkheads templated, uh, laminated, completed and in place and they're not glued in yet or they're not glassed in but check out these babies. I mean I'm so happy with, uh, with the result here. I've got my crash bulkhead down here, I've got my first robe partition, my five wing plate bulkheads or wing frames and then uh, over on the other side there so i'm ready now to start thinking about the main compression bulkheads there's uh this one here that you see here and there's another one further on so there's a lot going on here on the mold and uh and uh, i'm going to be starting to call it the hull soon uh i think I, I think i've earned the right to say that but uh, i'm not going to call it the hulls yet uh i'm certainly uh building it up out of the ground I'm very very happy with the result and uh and subscribe subscribe and share it to your friends and uh and see if we can inspire some other guys to take on a bit of a project like uh like maybe not as big as this one <laughs> i would not recommend it however um most satisfying thing i've ever done in my life and uh and every day is a massive challenge and uh and you know us blokes need that so uh catch you later and i'll see you next time on uh, on life on the mold